All right, you know, we've had a kind of a streak of hot weather recently, yes, right? we have. So if you had to go to school with no air conditioning, you'd probably relate to this next story. A teacher reached out to WCPO 9 News for a little bit of help, saying that for years she has endured teaching in a hot classroom in the 80s, 90s, and even as hot as 101 degrees. I went to a high school just like that. So WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco looked into what can be done since AC is still not standard in all schools in our region. Windows are open here at Delhi Middle School to let the air circulate through. That's one old school solution to the no air conditioner problem, but there's more schools can do now to fix this because of the pandemic. Behind these Delhi Middle School doors, not every class has modern day air conditioning. A teacher snapped a pic of her thermostat at 92.3 degrees and sent it to me to show how hot it can get. This is something that has been a concern of teachers and parents and kids uh, for a long time. Scott DeMauro, president of the Teachers Union, Ohio Education Association, spoke on the teacher's behalf. She asked me not to use her name because she's afraid of losing her job. She says it has hit 101 degrees before inside her classroom. It makes it hard for kids to concentrate and to learn. And, uh, you know, frankly, depending on how hot it gets, it can be unsafe and sometimes schools have to shut down. Delhi Middle School is part of Oak Hills Local School District. It's not uncommon for districts like this in, say, Finneytown with old buildings to not have AC. Others like Cincinnati Public Schools, Kenton County, Mason City Schools have made the upgrade. But Oak Hills says it could cost millions of dollars per building. It's always a challenge. But the teachers union says now there is an opportunity to make AC standard because the federal government sent Ohio schools $4.5 billion to deal with pandemic problems. And one thing he says schools can use that for is HVAC upgrades. We have a particular interest in air quality uh, coming out of the pandemic, you know, because one of the th one of the things of, you know, the experience of the last 15 months has taught us is that good airflow is really critical uh, for health and safety of students. Oak Hill spokesperson Krista Ramsey told me over the phone the district does not plan to use its federal aid on AC because it would use too much of the money. She says this is the last week of school here. Students get out before the hottest part of the day. It is very, very difficult. Um, you know, we know that when you have an enclosed space uh, and the temperature gets that high and you don't have good air circulation, uh, conditions just simply aren't safe. The district says workers here will continue opening all windows, placing fans in classrooms and hallways, and teachers and students can rotate to rooms with AC. Plus, the district can cancel school if it gets too hot. The school district says it would take a vote on something like a bond to make a change to the HVAC systems in old buildings. Reporting from Delhi Middle School, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.